Can you? I I introduce, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. So uh, before we start the session, I would like to request uh, Dr. Usha S. Nair, coordinator for the program. Uh, Madam, please uh, invite our guest. Madam, please. Thank you. Most respected and dignified speaker for the day, Mariam Koshi Jeromi, uh, Professor Kluka, Professor Rosa. Uh, Merlin, Kathy, and um, hope I haven't left uh, uh, Janice. Hope she's joined. I'm not sure. Uh, Dr. G. Kishore, our principal, Dr. Narendra Gangwar, all invited guests, and my dear friends. It's a privilege for us and an honor indeed for the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports and Government of India, Halo India, and lecture by National College of Physical Education to have such eminent speakers and also panelists in this forum. I take this opportunity to introduce our speak guest speaker, Mariam Koshi Jeromi, Professor of Shiraj University, Iran. She is the head of the Sports Science Department in Shiraj University. Member of Physical Education Sports Science Curriculum Planning at the Ministry of Research, Science and Technology in Iran. She's the Executive Board Member of the International Association of Physical Education of Girls and Women. Member of the Editorial Board of Journal of Novel Physiotherapy and Asian Journals of Sports Science and Medicine and Applied Anatomy and Physiology. She's basically an exercise physiologist. Her awards are she has won the international award. That is the Margaret Talbot from IA International Association of Physical Education for Sports of Women and Girls in 2017. The best year academic professor at Shiraj University in 2009 and 2010. Winner of the best rare book prize for effect of environment and physical activity 2011. Her current researches include sport, exercise, physical activity, especially to women, health, and physiology, and culture, and women in sport. Indeed, it's an honor. On behalf of all those present here, ma'am, a warm welcome to you. I also welcome Professor Rosa, Professor Kluka, Kathy, Merlin, Janice, Dr. G. Kishore, and all the invited guests to this session. Uh, Ma Mariam Koshi, Jeromi, for your session, please. Ma'am, please. Thank you. Uh, hello to everybody. Yeah. My dear colleague uh, as panelist, it's my pleasure to join this at the wonderful event. Uh, thanks, Ministry of Youth and Sport from India and organizing committee, especially Dr. Usha and uh, Narendra, For the aim of my presentation is talking about physical education and sport uh, in Iran, focusing on uh, women's sport. And before that, I need to introduce Iran and education in general um, to introduce that, that has happened and the cause of them. Iran, formerly known as Islamic Republic of Iran, and formerly located in the southwest of Asia. The term Persia originated from the origin of southern Iran, previously known as Persis. Alternatively, as Pars or Parsa. Geography and Caspian Sea Turkey, Iraq at the west, and Persian Gulf and Gulf of Oman uh, to the south, and Pakistan and Afghanistan to the east. Iran is the seventh largest country between 50 Asian countries. And Iran has extensive uh, petroleum and natural deposits, and one of the world's largest reserves of copper, as well as other valuable deposits. 
but about the population of Iran. At 2020, uh, 2020, the population of Iran is about 80 million, and its population is the 10th populated country uh, in Asia and 19th in the global ranking. Tehran, the capital of Iran, is the most populated city of Iran, and its population is about uh, 8 million. Our population of Iran, as you see in the figure, has increased progressively during recent about 75% of population of Iran is urban. The number of women in Iran was reported as about 50% in uh, 2018. Iran is the one major civiliz civilizations dating back to 7,000 BC. Once as a major empire, is Iran has undergone invasions by many tribes and countries. So several ethnic groups live in Iran and several languages are spoken to in Iran, including Persian, Turkish, and some other languages. And the major language is Persian. The constitution of Iran guarantees freedom of cultural expression and linguistic diversity. Many Iranian prov provinces have radio and television stations in local language or dialect. A school education a regional for the Constitution of Islamic Republic of Iran in media. About the history of Iran, in brief, the history of Iran can be mainly divided in two, three periods the pre Islamic ancient area, the Islamic area, and the modern period, defined by its facing with West, Western modernity from around 1800. The Muslim conquest of Persia or Iran turned toward the Iranian history. Islamization of Iran occurred during the 8th to 10th century. In 1500, which set Shia Islam as the empire official religion, making one of the most important critical period in the history of you. Oh. Was shaped by the ancient Iran and many of the leaders Kinds of classical and, and scientists of Iran is a mixture of religion and um, ancient Iran. The attraction of Islamic Republic of Iran for some nations, accompanied by fear of the spread and influence of Islam by some governments, lack of obedience of some of the world's uh, colonialists, Iran's ranking as the fourth oil reserves in the world and its role in controlling Persian Gulf as an important place of oil reserves and transportation has made Iran as the place so Iraq, Iraq attack to Iran was one of these struggles in which Iraq of the disorder of the revolution of Iran, the weakness of the Iranian military and the revolution antagonism between uh, the Middle East. Uh, uh, Madam Mariam, uh, just, just uh, sorry to interrupt in between. Uh, Ma'am, your, your voice is breaking in between. So uh, could you please uh, stop your video so that we can uh, hear, hear, listen clearly. Just stop your video. Uh, I stop. Uh, Ma'am, left, left, bottom corner. There is a 
option stop video yeah yeah now you can continue madam so that we can hello okay hello please continue mariam okay yeah, yeah, can yeah, i continue please. yeah 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 please please ma'am yeah. thank you uh the uh which uh, iran iraq was one of the major struggle after the islamic revolution during recent years for iran another struggle is severe sanctions against iran which con uh, continues for several years although these struggles uh, have been distracted in uh, destructive in many aspects, but have strengthened Iran in some other aspects. Many empires and dynasties have ruled Iran until 1925. Uh, until 20, 1925, that Army General Reza Pahlavi was with Western ones and banned Islamic clothing and veiling of women until 1979 revolution. The great transformation of Iran occurred by Islamic revolution at 1979. Through a referendum, about 98% voted to Islamic revolution and approved Islamic as their official government. After that, the culture of Westernization was replaced by the culture of Islamization, which affected many aspects, including politics and culture. So after that, whaling became obligatory in public places as an Islamic order or sex segregation was necessary in unveiled position. But about the women status in Iran, about half of the population of Iran are women. Their life are varied regarding their location, culture, socioeconomic classes. Uh, women, Iranian women, have not important role in high level of managing. Their importance and their priority and the vital role is in family and community. Family is the important base of the society in Iran, and women are regarded as transmitters of national values, health, and lifestyle to the next generation. Women are not responsible to provide financially, and it is the duty of their husband to provide uh, all the families financially. Traditional belief that the main responsibility of women is householding has been the most important effective factor on reducing women's role in economy and increasing the rate of unemployed women compared to men. Special conditions of women, such as pregnancy and earlier retirement as a rule in Iran uh, has caused that hiring of a women is not welcomed by many situations and the rate of hired women is much lower. As a, uh, has been increased dramatically and this increase is more obvious about women this indication has increased from 47 years in 1,000 and which can be related to increasing knowledge and other health facilities. About the literacy rate in a school, as you see in the figure, the literacy rate in men and women age 15 to 24 has increased from a 99 point
point in uh, and hope that it's in, in two, 2020, the literacy rate five years and older males and females has progressively increased while as it is clear in the figure the lower not obvious difference between generations let me you can see how much is the difference between the older generation and the new generation regarding literacy The rate of female university students compared to male increased more than, um, pardon me, I think. I think one I have, yes. The rate of female university students compared to male increased more than 100% in 2012 and this progressive increase continue until present. The increase has been mentioned as a feminized university courses such as medicine and arts, but lower engineering. Regarding institutional and political advancement of women, or generally higher management position for women, uh, as you see, promoting organizational and governmental position of women um, has been seen in some areas, and despite the increase in women's seat in Islamic Consultative Assembly from 0.86% in the first election to the 5.5% in 2019, women's presence in proportion to men's is still unsatisfactory. Uh, and uh, it, this happened, this situation happened in most of higher manager, management level in Iran. Uh, it seems that lack of balance between social and family responsibilities is one of the major effective factors. And also lack of family support regarding the tradition that has not changed mainly can be effective on um, contribution of women in uh, higher management responsibility. The educational system in Iran has undergone many changes and developments. Um, and uh, uh, the ultimate goal and the main goals of education in Iran is cultural, ethical, scientific, instructional, economic, and many aspects of life in the, uh, and many aspects of life. At present, education in Iran and to 12 grades plus higher education. Elementary and secondary schools is supervised by Ministry of Education and the higher education is under supervision of Ministry of Science, Research, and Technology or Ministry of Health and Medical Education. Primary schools start at age six and its duration is six years. Junior and senior high school grades include for each one. Entering to higher education needs having a school diploma and passing national university exam. Ministry of Education in Iran has several divisions and um, one of the deputies is and aim for government in Iran. Uh, as 
we can see the leader of Iran, Ayatollah Khamenei, established three goals for expect, as, expect, as expectations for use as education, morality, Physical education in Iran was established at 1,900 and has been approved as compulsory lesson from 1927. Physical education in primary schools at present is to four hours which include basic movements and basic sport skills, gymnastic, jump roping, and swimming is obligatory in every places uh, in which equipments are available. And physical education in secondary schools uh, include two, uh, two hours per week and include physical fitness and various sport skills according to interest and facilities, which can be badminton, basketball, tennis, soccer, etc. two credits or four hours during all, all the which um, must the first physical education is a physical fitness and the second one is a kind of a sport according to interest and facilities can be selected which can be swimming basketball volleyball tennis etc Physical education course as BA, MA, and PhD uh, teach uh, and hold in the non-governmental universities. Interesting to have uh, to share. One of the innovations is holding dynamic schools uh, for other uh, study courses with proper physical exercise, a scheduling and a planning to reach 60 minutes of physical activity per day was one of the most important holding dynamic schools uh, aim encouraging the students to walk or ride bicycle to or from school. Every day more special exercises in some classes other than physical education. Creating a school environment to encourage sport activities for a student for students with uh, schools. In a school, in the best way to do exercise is various, um, and it can be adjusted according to interest, according to facilities. You can see some of the examples. It is another example of dynamic school. Many innovations for more exercising in the yard. And it is another one, I don't know yard of schools. Another designing. Another designing as dynamic schools. Another one we have as dynamic schools. In all grades, we have various uh, designs and innovations for using the best from the yard and facilities. Another innovation in physical education in Iran is For a regional level using the host school method. It means that athletic students, parents, friends, and classmates can attend with the students in host school to participate in a competition. This method can provide teaching and can be encouraging environment for others. And it 
can increase experiment and capability of school personnel for organizing similar events. It can increase sport and also it can attract financial support as the sport sponsors and provide environment for sport talent identification. Besides organizing annual sport competitions as Olympiads at the country level for both of students and physical education teachers in various sport fields is another plan which uh, organized every year. It is uh, one of the example of inaugural uh, ceremony of the Olympiad. Iran, several effective factors uh, are important in, in sport and physical activity, including natural geography, political change, religion, water, and many other popular uh, sports uh, uh, in Iran. Generally, many kinds of our play, uh, sports are practiced. But about women's sport, women need special considerations regarding to many aspects, cancer, PCO, uh, it, uh, physical activity can be a treatment for them and also in a, space, in a special uh, years of life, such as pregnancy, um, which enhance a special need for mother and fetus to pay attention to a proper physical activity. During menopause and depression, um, the physical But about uh, women, Iran has a, practical measures. Academically, the first measure, some studies was uh, regarding health and physical activity of women or girls and to determine our requirements, shortages, and interest to plan for the future, and to evaluate the effect of various exercises on women's health and concerns. These studies has, uh, have been conducted in universities and out of universities to have a basic plan uh, for practical measures, and also, we are establishing a joint course of women exercise physiology by exercise physiologists and gynecologists and establish international women exercise or sport study center. Studies indicated that physical education equipment teachers improved significantly nice uh, since about 10 years ago, exercise knowledge of students about health increased through providing related books uh, for physical education. Coaches has increased during recent years. And in practical measures, organizationally, women's sports rebel has been improved. A special part in gymnasiums has been provided for many of them freely, uh, and even they are gifted. For, uh, for example, 
for ice prescription. And all so exercising, exercise classes, including fitness, swimming, aerobic, uh, for just elder women has increased in recent years and it is obvious in many gymnasiums and also is sport news uh, daily is available in our tv program we in Iran, as you see, lack of free time, lack of interest, high cost of many sport facilities, not support the but men, lack of skills, many social relationships, people of Iran, lack of professional trainer, poor transportation or physical fitness, These as barriers of women participation in Iran. That shortage of facilities has been mentioned is the most important barrier in women's sporting uh, participation and also not for women and men um, in big and small cities, in regions of big cities or and all their most important barriers. But regarding international participation of Iranian women, Iranian women for following their religious recommendation must have covering of most Uh, hello. Uh, uh, Madam, you know, boy, for, yeah. Ma'am, may I switch off your uh, video, ma'am? It's already off. Yeah, that's already off. Madam, your voice is breaking, um, actually. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I must activate my video. No, that is already, that is already, you have done. Oh. You can continue. Is it okay, doctor? Yes, yeah. can I continue? Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah please. Yeah, yeah. Another uh, measure which has been done was Muslim women, but in sex segregated position, uh, and uh, which Almost all of the managers of such events were women, but it was um, another important measures was made by uh, intern women in 2008 eight which provided a de declaration as accept and respect which urged is declaration as accept and respect and uh, one of its item is uh, very common and education system accept and Muslim women participate in a sport and physical activity, for example, choices of activity. There is this declaration. Uh, was made by about 14 in all
all of it participated in international events. Uh, special covering or their participation. Uh, held. For a American fleet and athletic and in fencing, rowing, and shooting, and horse riding, kayak, taekwondo, track and field, and shooting, shooting, and recently, recently, in 2017, in our chess at volleyball, wrestling, and soccer in as ancient Asian games, and in Olympic games, they participated from. Nineteen shooting, rowing, and taekwondo, archery, athletics, canoeing has been increased until two thousand and six. Rowing, track and field, taekwondo, table tennis. In summary, there is a close relationship between a school community and elite sport provision in terms of developmental organization and particular women according to the religious recommendations have no barriers and even in care of health in every way, including exercise and the sport. But a special Islamic covering rules for women have caused empowering of women as coaches, managers, university professors, physicians, some international events such as swimming and gymnastics and uh, banning, which is imposed by some federation. Thank you for your attention. We expect international sport or expect the choice of voices of others. If you let me, I have a video uh, to show. Yeah, please. Please do share. Is this possible? Yes. Hello. Morning. Yeah, okay. Is it okay, doctor? Yeah, yeah, madam, please. Hello. Uh, no, it's not coming on uh, screen, madam. Just share your video. Hello. Ah, now okay, now okay, madam. Ask you to go back. On the beginning, then parents they can go first. The victory of the Islamic Revolution opened in fields. As a matter of fact, the talents of Iranian women in the three decades of sports has noticeably increased in Keeping their Islamic cover on, the Iranian female athletes strongly appeared in the internet. 
however, in some instances, they have sadly been banned from appearing in international competitions due to insisting on Uh, madam, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, you can uh, just explain also like what, what is the message uh, you just wanted to pass through this video. You can just keep on telling us also. Uh, um, um, Maria, ma'am, uh, this Sujit, I just wanted to suggest that maybe you, instead of playing the slides, you can just talk maybe because because we are not able to see the video properly. So you can just explain instead of. Uh, Hello. So the Ma video is in good condition. Uh, we could see the video earlier. It's only now it isn't functioning. Initially it was working. Madam, you can stop sharing video and then you can talk about the video. I think that's enough. If it is a problem, yeah, yeah, you can stop sharing that video, madam, and then you can talk. The video here. Yeah. Thank you very much for your attention and providing this a chance to talk in. Uh, yeah, ma'am, uh, just do one thing. Just stop sharing. Yeah, that you stop sharing, and then you can. Start your video, that uh, screen video, and then you will be on board. Let's stop sharing video. Yes, yes, I will. Yeah, that's fine, ma'am. Now you can start your video, madam. Left bottom. No, I think just uh, just talk. I think is, ma'am, uh, that is better, so that at least we can hear you, ma'am, clearly. Okay, you could bring, ma'am, the. I cannot activate my video. No, ma'am. Uh, you do one thing. You just activate. If it is okay, then uh, you can continue. Otherwise, then again, you, you can stop. So you can start your video. If it's working, then fine. You can continue with that. Let's start your video, madam. Uh, that uh, screen video. Zoom. Screen video. Zoom, uh, ma'am. Oh, uh, left you, bottom. You, you own uh, face, ma'am. I think it's only only your uh, video. Uh, camera, just the camera, ma'am. So the, just the zoom video. I... Don't share the screen. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, now over to Usa, ma'am. Before taking some questions, uh, I would like Thank to. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just. Usa, ma'am, your you to unmute, ma'am. Um, Mariam, your session was wonderful. Can you hear me? Mariam, can you hear me? Can you hear me? The session was really yes. good. The session yes. was really good. And it's a wonderful session. So there Thank are you, questions. Uh, maybe I could start off with. Earlier there were a lot of restrictions. And there were even they were objected to wearing of the the uh, say head cover you need to cover and then finally they were not permitted to even witness the things. So what product a change where they could be brought into the sports? Can you hear me? Dr. Osha, I missed a part of your speech. I missed a part of your speech. I couldn't get it completely. Okay. Uh, women were not permitted earlier to participate. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I hear you. Yeah, they they were not because um, uh, you have certain restrictions of thing. I think they were not allowed to witness certain events earlier. Witnessing of football matches were not there earlier in your country. 
some uh, as there, there is some interruption in your speaking, but I, if I uh, could get correctly, you told about... Uh, yeah, uh, okay, I'll, I'll take a few questions. Just I'll take support a activities. Is it right? Uh, okay. Uh, how do you find the women with all this? Now, Nike has come with a... Nike company has come with a, a whole dress attire. I think you can't hear me. Can you look in the chat box for some questions? Uh, sorry, QA, QA. Okay. Ma'am, I'll just say. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, Ma'am, there is a one uh, question answer box. You just check that there are any questions. And if you can hear me, I'll, I'll ask question and you can reply. Uh, there are... I must answer to all questions and questions and answer? Only few. Uh, no, Very don't. few. Only two, yeah. Uh, I think uh, it is the duty of media uh, to increase the awareness of uh, in women, girls, and uh, uh, or parents' awareness about the necessity of physical activity for girls. And uh, I think media can the most universities. Uh, physical education uh, must be uh, organized and have a special plan uh, for increasing knowledge, attitude, as well as practicing it. And only its practicing is not activity in women and uh, in all uh, persons. Another question is that did Iran girl students can uh, feel comfort with your traditional wearing sports? Of course, wearing a special clothes in a sport is difficult for everybody. But uh, according to religion, I think it is necessary for us to obey our religion regulations. And, and uh, we must, and uh, we are glad to accept our religion orders in this matter, but uh, it is uh, yeah. with the effects of exercise on uh, women health in Iran. Another question is that um, about uh, evaluating the effect of exercise and women health. Many studies has been conducted in many aspects of health. For example, some studies has, uh, have evaluated the effect of uh, exercise on quality of life, others on diabetes, others on pregnancies, others on menstruation. There is a various uh, as, uh, researches and in various fields which has been done in this area and the um, Many important and another question. Mariam, uh, that's fine. I'll ask Rosa. Rosa, yeah. can you take up some. Yeah. Yes. Can you hear me properly? I can. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, Marian. Uh, when uh, we were in Iran, it was very interesting that all the sport federations was compulsory to have a woman vice president, okay? In all the boards of sport federation. I yes. wonder whether that continues to be in there or if there are other new regulations to push more women to be in leading positions in boards. Mm -hmm. Yes, it continues. Vice President uh, or, and other than a sport, even in all ministries, there, there is a vice president, a woman as women. Uh, as vice uh, in all ministries, as well as in a sport. And um, it is the same as before. Okay. Thank you. In spite of uh, the problems with the voice, your slides 
have all the content in there. And that was really very positive, very good. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for your attention and your attendance. Thank you. Kluka, could I hear from you please for your remarks? Uh, a, a wonderful presentation. I took many notes, so I, uh, I am grateful for the extra uh, content and the information. Um, I'm quite interested in um, uh, the plan for an international uh, women's uh, study center. Um, could you give us a few more ideas uh, as to what kinds of things you will be studying in that center? It must be taken in the university and after approving the university, uh, I, it is my idea in my university. And uh, I think uh, this study center can have several parts which study uh, about women's sports, many related to women's sport. Um, it, I have a journal in regard in this women's sport study center, but uh, it has been established in as an initial process and approved and the schools and in university, uh, it uh, must be processed uh, and uh, take uh, another procedure uh, to be finally approved and be practical. Uh, uh, just um, for all of us, uh, if uh, some of you are not old enough to know this, but uh, in the past, uh, I was recruited for uh, starting a center. And so many times it's very important for those of us in the international community to provide letters of support, um, no, no money, but, but support from the outside uh, to the university to say to them, this is something that's very important. And I would think that uh, organizations such as the Episcopal and ICSPE and uh, several others uh, would also be more than happy to provide letters of support if that's something that's necessary. Because I think that the thing that will make this perhaps not unique, but extremely unusual is if um, it comes from your region of the world, but if it also focuses on uh, those women who are Muslim who uh, then can also benefit because it's hard to um, uh, focus on, uh, on one uh, section of the world that has been um, underrepresented and so sometimes to have someone come from within that region would really make a difference as to how we then know that region. So I'm quite excited for you. And uh, I knew if someone could, could come up with that idea, it would be you. So I'm very, very happy and proud for you. And uh, I think that um, many of us uh, with with big letters of support to the big people that make the decisions might also be helpful. Uh, and that way it will also tell the rest of the world that this is being planned. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Chika. Um, it will be great to have your Kathy, support. Uh, Kathy, the support yeah. of the association. Could I hear Kathy, please? Kathy, uh, Rosa, could you call for Kathy is here. Marlin is here. Yeah. Yes. Marlin, okay. please. For okay, your thank business. you. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, Marianne, uh, thank you. Great. I really enjoy. 
and to know the structure of uh, physical education and sport uh, in Iran. For me, it was great because it's my area of expertise. Um, I, I have a question for you because I'm very interested to know. Um, uh, you explained to us um, that um, somehow uh, Um, I'm very interested to know if um, these uh, girls uh, can choose the different sports and how to manage, if, uh, how, uh, manage the teachers to plan uh, to involve uh, the, the girls and boys too, uh, to participate in this competi in competition. Uh, they train um, uh, in, uh, at the school, yeah. um, more or less. Did you understand me? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. I think. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, um, about uh, participation of girls and uh, boys uh, in competitions, uh, we have uh, many female and uh, male uh, coaches, and mm -hmm. uh, we have not limitations in female coaches uh, for training girls, and their competitions uh, as they um, uh, educate in different schools, in the separate schools, uh, occur in their schools, there is no matter. And uh, even in a higher level of competitions, we have the six sons, they are not mixed. Mm -hmm. uh, at the, it is interesting that at the beginning of the revolution, we have not a female coach for swimming. Mm -hmm. And they had to train uh, and some of them, their husbands, uh, could uh, train them uh, to be the coach and uh, to be the referee. And after that, they improved gradually and increasingly. And we have uh, many female coaches in every field. Uh, but in a higher level of competition, special fields, for example, track and field, uh, which can be covered uh, in higher level, for example, in, nat in national level uh, uh, sport women, uh, as I told, uh, covering is possible. During playing, we have a male uh, coach uh, for female women. We have. Thank you. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you, Marlene. Congratulations. <laughs> Rosa, uh, Diku, we have another Rosa here. Are you there? Maybe yeah, I'm unable to pronounce the surname. Yeah, yeah she, she's not on board, ma'am, actually. Okay, Kathy is here. Kathy is here. Could I hear her, please? She's no, she's not. She had to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, she left. So, Kishore, sir. Kishore, sir, for your remarks, please, sir. We have Dr. Mr. Reddy here, our uh, director from Madipi. So, we'll hear Ready, sir. Ready, sir. Ready, sir, can yes, we yes, 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 Sir, for your remarks, is most welcome. Sir, is the uh, director for the, uh, we have a water sports center, beautiful center in Arab Peak. Oh. And, uh, sir, for your remarks, please. Alapi is known as the Venice of East. Beautiful, one of the most uh, sought after tourist destinations. And we have a very lovely water sports center, a beautiful island we have. And uh, Mr. Reddy is uh, looking after that. National Center of Excellence. Thank so for you, your, uh, your Good evening, everybody, and uh, this uh, distinguished uh, special guests are the, they are on this webinar, uh, especially Maria Madam and uh, international speakers uh, Rosie and Kuti, uh, and our uh, coordinator, Dr. Rusha Madam. This is uh, a most populous. Uh, PE Community Education Program, which uh, Dr. Kisor Sar, uh, our uh, regional director, has taken initiative in organizing this uh, wonderful sessions, and it's very much useful and uh, uh, sharing of knowledge, not only in India, from abroad also. So this is a very good experience for us to listen to you, you people, and exchanging of information how, what you are doing in your country, what we are doing in our country. And it's a very good initiative by us, by our uh, Sports Authority of India. And it's a very 
different kind of experience that we are having it and it's a great that iran is having a that much equality for women that's we have to learn from you also even though we are a democratic country we have some restrictions but women participation is very less compared to other countries and this is a very good and great lesson for us and this is going to be the history and it is going to be a good uh, knowledge any uh, everyone of us to make our children and especially girls to participate in every part of uh, the competition and as well in every activity as i see that the woman is equally educated and 50% of you are saying that you are uh, almost 60% of women is there in uh, your country all have been exceeded the boys education and that's a very good uh, uh, achievement that you have in a shortest time as you have started in uh, uh, only 19th century and yeah uh, you have implemented many of the program giving the women importance in 2011 it seems and it's a very great achievement that you have and i also be, uh, feel to be proud that you people have done a very great job in sports also being a restricted and uh, muslim country and doing the best that's a greatness that's a greatness of it and i think we learn a lot from you thank you madam for being a guest for us today and this is a very great lesson and the great information you exchanged with us thank you madam thank you sir for supporting for this movement especially when we have a lot of women on this board uh may not recognize rosa i think you have yeah rosa for your remarks please yeah. uh thank you madam very much for your very nice presentation you've told about that in physical education you have 4 hours a week that's a quite high number how could you manage it to get this high number for um, for school pe uh, again i missed a part of your speech because of internet interruption i think at the beginning it was <laughs> you have very high numbers of 4 hours a week for physical education that's really great and i do remember when i talked to you last time that it was a big effort and, and much to to organize how did you do it how could you realize this 4 hours for girls and boys in 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 school yes at the beginning it was 2 hours but uh, after that um, i think um organizing a ministry of sport and youth was very important measures in iran uh, and also the beauty of physical education and the sport in ministry of education has done great project uh, to know the effect of uh, for um, the effect of one hour two hour or four hour uh, on uh, education achievement and uh, by uh, indicating these results i think the indication of the research results to higher um, persons who is in charge or responsible for scheduling was important uh, for accepting four hours of physical education in schools and it is recently this uh, happened recently in iran so research is very important to yes, support yes of course and physical education for girls and boys as well thank you yes of course um, we have many changes in this regard in this in the regard of hours in the regard of the facilities equipment uh, recently compared to previous years uh, and the, the change of hours is one of the example mm -hmm. well, thank yeah. you right. thank you rosa I have has Kathy come in? Kathy is here. Uh, uh, I, uh, she is not here, madam. Kisho uh, sir. Kisho sir. Yeah. So for your remarks, uh, I, I think uh, this is something which is uh, very very enlightening to us, all of us. Thank you, ma'am, Mariam. Uh, you know, the participation we have uh, all aware about the legal and social barriers which uh, the women of uh, iran are confronting and in fact in the recent past we also saw the passion which has shown by the iranian women in participating and seeing football i think uh, fifa also has uh, played a vital role in uh, you know allowing the participation and also there is lot of uh, encouragement and i think it would be the reason that man must 
uh, taken this this topic and i think for other nations when the uh, uh, the iranian woman has shown this much of resilience so if other other it is an eye opener for other where there is no such restrictions to be more uh, uh, participative and uh, proactive towards sports even after all these social and legal barriers i place on record our sincere appreciation to the uh, women entire women of iran for having shown this resilience and uh, took part in sports uh, especially in, in development of sports and i think from uh, as mas mentioned from 1900 onwards uh, physical education uh, is a part of curriculum and they are taking a lot of interest uh, uh, that is uh, in fact very much uh, encouraging and i think uh, i appreciate and i think that there is a lot of lessons to be learned from uh, and it will be uh, for those uh, uh, women who are who have some inhibitions now also who are from india what must uh, maryam has told uh, should be something which uh, pave the way for them to also take on sports i think they should uh, have a better visibility we should try to put uh, the words uh, uh, top way country like iran should also pave the way for more participation from india thank you very much ma'am and i think uh, we are much benefited with your uh, the, the, the session and also the message you have thank you thank you krishan sir and uh, i think it's a it's a fact when you talk of iran the, the equipments they, they i think into research in every field they excel and as kishore sir rightly pointed out these are lessons and this is a platform sharing lessons we are going to learn we are coming dynamic schools ours a school i think it's uh, we are learning a lot of lessons of how we made creative innovative ideas being brought in and uh, we look forward to your collaboration and uh, uh, collaboration with our center yes sir kishore sir maria ma'am has said that we'd like to have a collaboration in terms of research and indeed yes, we are sir. we look forward to it So on behalf of the uh, uh, Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, Government of India, Hello India, our principal, the Sports Authority of India, lectured by National College of Physical Education. A big thank you to you, and we salute all the women from Iran because you have made wonders. You have brought change in the world, and I think we are going to bring about change. So thank you so much for this wonderful thank session you. of yours. I'd like thank to thank you so much, Miss Rosa. Ma'am, I need to thank you. You were the one who brought in Maria. You introduced you introduced the world to us, Rosa. Ma'am, I think I need to thank you so much. I need to thank Luca, and we have two another Rosa. We have uh, Kathy, Merlin, each all the members because the board members are sitting here. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank Reddy sir. I know when you were here from uh, uh, from such a beautiful place of Alappi, but sir is there. Thank you so much for your valuable presence. I'd like to thank Dr. Kishore sir, who's a very instrumental, very supportive, and he sits, he makes it a point of attending all the sessions. So thank you so much, sir, for your valuable presence. I thank all the invited guests and my dear participants. I'd like to thank the host, Dr. Narendra Gangwar, for being such a nice host. So once again, thank you each and every one, and hope to see you tomorrow. Hi, namaste. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye.